Hello and welcome to the Grumpy Eyes Rehabilitation Facility. Today's topic is going to be griefing. How to distinguish griefing from piracy and what can we do about it. If you like tutorials or rants like this one is going to be, and if you like cool montages or original music that's uh, inspired by Star Citizen, you should consider subscribing. My name is Grumpy Eye and let's cut straight to the chase. Hello, my name is Grumpy, Grumpy Eye. Alright, so in the background you're gonna see some footage from the Xenothreat uh, event. It was taken in the PTU. But the main topic of this video is gonna be griefing. Uh, so, what do I consider to be griefing? Uh, for me, griefing is like... If you go to Wikipedia and fucking search for griefing... Well, then you'll know what I consider to be griefing. Cause that's pretty much all that there is to it. Now, you're probably asking yourself, uh, why do people grief inside Star Citizen? I mean, it's a huge game and there's a lot of shit to do and like you can play it as a sandbox, but people still grief. So why do they do that? Well, they're probably not all sociopaths, but I guess some of them are, but they're mainly bored and they want to PvP. But, I mean, there's a difference. If you want to PvP, you can ask somebody to PvP with you. You could go uh, get a crime stat and then just wait for somebody to attack you. And you're going to PvP with them. Or you can fly around Olesar or Reverse or whatever. And if you have a crime stat, eventually somebody's going to attack you. So that's going to be PvPing again, right? But no, these people are fucking shooting players on pads. And that's the definition of griefing, right? So what can you do about that? You can learn to PvP. But to be honest, uh, 3.14 fucked it up completely. Cause in 3.13, I could have just fought uh, five guys and prevailed and just fucking won. Cause uh, most of the griefers run in packs and they're pretty bad at the game and they're bored. So in 3.13, I could have just like slapped two of the C788 cannons on top of my Talon and just went after them and pick them off one by one. And uh, they will go to jail and all the stuff will be fine after that and players could fucking continue with their lives. But with the combat changes in 3.14, that's not going to be possible anymore. Quantity is going to beat quality, just like in real life, right? Because now the C788 cannon has a DPS of 170. And the only good cannon is going to be the Deadbolt cannon. And of course, it has 70 rounds in it. So 70 rounds is not going to be enough. Or you can take two Gatlings on your Talon and pray that 400 ammo total is gonna be enough to kill a player. But after that, you're gonna have to run because you need to rearm your weapons. And uh, nobody's gonna do that. And if, for example, there's like four griefers attacking Olisar, they're probably all gonna have at least one of their weapons set as a ballistic cannon or repeater or gatling, whatever. So the fuck are you supposed to do? Can you report them? No, because CGI doesn't want to ban anybody because that's probably bad for profit. But you can actually report them for hitting the return key too often in chat. If you don't believe me, here's their website. There. But just below that, you can see that you can actually report uh, players for interfering with the ability of others to enjoy playing uh, RSI servers or take actions that inf interfere with or materially increase the cost to provide RSI servers for the enjoyment of all users. Jesus Christ, this was like, who the fuck wrote this? And by the way, under that, you can see that you can actually report anybody that's exploiting the errors in design. So, are the griefers exploiting the errors in design? I think they are. Are the griefers interfering with the ability of others to enjoy Star Citizen? 
I believe they are. So why the fuck aren't they banned already? Because if you play it on EU servers and you play it like three days a week, you're just gonna see the same fucking guys griefing over and over. And it's not like nobody's reporting them, they're just not getting banned. And pretty much all of them are in the same orgs. Why don't you just fucking ban the org? I mean, I don't get it. I, I really don't. Because, see, like, a few days ago I joined the server uh, 3.13, uh, the PU, uh, so I can grind for the Hawk. Because the Hawk is gonna be really good in 3.14. Anyway, I spawned on Evers, and I actually met another YouTuber. I mean, I'm not gonna call myself a YouTuber, I'm still a fucking music producer mainly, but I just do this on the side. And uh, it was Commander Katie, or Commandress, I don't know. But it was Katie, and if you don't know her, uh, you should check her out. Uh, she was a elite commander, or elite dangerous uh, commander or player. Uh, for a long time and then she switched to Star Citizen and I met her there and we talked a bit and we like grouped up we went into a party together and uh, she's still new to the game and she just like got the Andromeda she wanted to spawn it and as soon as she fucking spawned it somebody destroyed it on the pad I went to pad 6 I think Chipmunk got stored. I don't know. Yeah, I've just heard an explosion uh, outside. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe that was it. I don't yeah. know. And like, she's still new, so she was wondering what the fuck happened to the Andromeda. But I mean, as soon as I heard the explosion, I knew what's fucking happening. So I got into my talon, and there was like two of them, and they were just like shooting people's ships on the pads. And I killed them, I sent them to jail. So, like, bear in mind that she's still fucking new to the game. What the fuck is she supposed to do when that happens? What is anybody supposed to do when that happens if they don't have any PvP experience? I do have some PvP experience. I love PvPing. It's exciting for me. But on a few occasions, more than a few, I couldn't get to my fucking ship to deal with the fucking reefers. Because they were destroying my ships as soon as I fucking spawned them. So CIG's idea of countering that is gonna be just making everybody spawn their ships in the fucking hangars. And they're gonna replace Olesar, the most beautiful and the best made station in fucking Star Citizen Universe. With a bullshit station with a bunch of elevators and hangars. So what do you think the griefers are gonna do? They're just gonna wait outside the fucking hangars. Or they're gonna follow you and shoot you down somewhere else. So how is that helping? It's not. So what is the logical thing to do here? They can try adding the missile turrets to stations. If the missiles are fucking size 9 torpedoes and if they lock onto you and never fucking give up, they are still gonna follow you somewhere and shoot you down. Or that's gonna force them into piracy. Which is cool. But it's not piracy if they just attack you and kill you. And if you give them money and they still kill you after that, that's still fucking griefing, right? So we still need a way to report and ban those fucking dirtbags, the, the fucking assholes, right? So my suggestion would be to like check out how the other games dealt with that. So let's take Counter-Strike as an example. When you report cheaters in Counter-Strike, the footage of that match goes straight into the archive or it just gets recorded. And after a while, a higher ranked player is gonna review the footage. And if you are actually a fucking cheater, you're gonna get banned. And that's it. You're done. So, since it's gonna be really fucking hard to review the footage of a match in Star Citizen, since it is not a match-based game, CAG could at least give us an opportunity to record the griefers on our own. 
with our fucking because everybody has an OBS or uh, some kind of a fucking recording device. You can fucking record your screen with your cell phone, and that's fucking proof. If the court of law can see it as evidence, why doesn't CAG let us do that then? Probably because the griefers spent a lot of money on the game. But there would be a lot more people spending money on the game if they felt safe in the verse, right? And I mean, CAG doesn't even need to take all their ships away from them. Let them have them. Let them fucking sell them or just make them buy a game package again. It's 35 euros. So if they want to get banned 10 fucking times, they're gonna spend 350 euros on like 10 game packages, right? And there's your solution to the fucking problem. And I'm not claiming that I'm the smartest guy in the room here. I mean, I am in this room because currently there's nobody inside except me. But if I wasn't alone in the room, the chances of me being the smartest guy in the room would be slimmer, right? But, but just don't tell me that nobody thought of this. And I mean, since we're talking about griefing and piracy, or I'm talking, whatever, I should probably mention some known pirates. So, I've had an argument with the Mongrel Squad on their YouTube channel when they were fucking griefing in the video, and I told them the only comment I left was that there is a thin line between piracy and griefing. And that is all I fucking said. And they fucking attacked me. Because they knew that they were griefing. First they told me that I'm probably salty. Because like on one of the occasions. They've actually pirated me. And that was straight up pirating. And I'm not bad about it. Why would I be? That's like one of the core mechanics of the game. right? But in the actual video that I commented on. Uh, they were stealing Hedonite from a player's rock. But the rock was inside the player's ship, which was inside the armistice zone. So he couldn't really defend himself, right? And it wasn't even the only Vic thing that they've done. They actually fucking blocked the terminal, so the player couldn't fucking just ignore them and sell the Hedonite, right? And they fucking attacked me for implying that they are griefing. I mean, I don't fucking care. I mean, it's fucking internet. They can suck my dick anyway. But I mean, I did and I do still love most of their videos. But that was fucking straight up griefing. Come on, let's be serious here. But I mean, uh, the best fucking defense that they had was like, they've told me not to blame the player but I should blame the game and the game mechanics. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna blame you because you're fucking exploiting the game mechanics. And you're being a dick about it. And also, like, one of them was uh, illiterate and I fucking corrected them. And he attacked me because uh, apparently I don't have any good arguments. And that's why I'm correcting him because that's my only fucking argument. No, dude, it's not. I'm fucking Serbian and I know your fucking language better than you. But that's not the fucking point. The point is that griefing should be prohibited and it must be a bannable offense. If it's not, it's just gonna come back in another shape or form. That is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. My name was... Or is still... Thank you, I'm still alive. My name is Grumpy Eye. And uh, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. You who should subscribe. Cause I'll come to your house and cut your dick off. And you don't want that to happen, don't ya? So click on that subscribe button. Thank you. Yeah, I was just waiting for you to subscribe. Come on.